briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2000, the United States Tax Court heard the case of Han Barrier v. Commissioner, which revolved around the question of whether a merger between two trucking companies, Colonial Motor Freight Line Inc. and Central Transport Inc., could qualify as a tax-free reorganization. The court ruled that for a merger to be tax-free, the acquiring company must continue the acquired company's historic business and meet other requirements under Section 368A1A A of the Internal Revenue Code. Prior to the merger, Colonial had sold all its operating assets except for its ICC and North Carolina operating authorities and invested in tax-exempt bonds and a municipal bond fund. At the time of the merger, its assets included cash, bonds, interest, and dividends receivables and ICC authority. The merger resulted in Mr. Han Barrier receiving $5,042,772 in distribution. Both Colonial and Mr. and Mrs. Han Barrier's federal income tax returns for 1993 were audited, leading to the case when the respondent determined a deficiency, which the parties dispute. The court ultimately decided that the merger did not qualify as a tax-free reorganization, as Central did not meet the continuity of business enterprise requirement by not continuing Colonial's historic business or using significant portions of its assets. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.